North Korea has disputed Donald Trump's explanation for the breakdown of talks in Hanoi, saying it only wanted a partial lifting of sanctions in exchange for the dismantlement of its main nuclear facility. A day after the U.S. president left Vietnam empty-handed, having claimed Pyongyang had demanded the lifting of all U.S. and international sanctions in exchange for moving forward, North Korea hit back with its own version of events. Foreign Minister Rai Yong-ho told an impromptu news conference at the Hanoi Hotel that North Korea's offer had been entirely reasonable. He said Pyongyang has been prepared to begin the dismantling of the main nuclear facility in Yangbyon if there was a partial lifting of sanctions. He said the U.S. had insisted the North go one more step beyond the dismantlement of its main nuclear facility and that as a result the talks broke down. He added that North Korea's position would not change even if the U.S. sought further talks, the Sunhup News Agency reported. Cho Sun Weeb, North Korea's vice minister of foreign affairs and a senior diplomat, added, I cannot guarantee that this opportunity will be offered to the U.S. once more. The battle to control the narrative of what happened in Vietnam is hardly surprising given that both sides were hoping to reach some sort of agreement, however modest. A day after last June's first summit in Singapore, North Korean state media claimed the U.S. had agreed to the lifting of sanctions, something that had not been signed off on. Three weeks later, it accused Washington of mobster-like behavior. I in his own press conference, Mr. Trump claimed Mr. Kim had asked for the lifting of all sanctions, something the U.S. was both not capable of doing, some sanctions against the North, are U.N. sanctions, and unwilling to do, even if it could. Sometimes you have to walk, said Mr. Trump. Basically they wanted the sanctions lifted in their entirety, and we couldn't do that. 